Chapter 4, Section 5. Does private property coordinate without hierarchy? It is usually defined right libertarians maintaining that they uh, that pri- it's usually found that right libertarians maintain that private property i.e. capitalism allows economic activity to be coordinated by non-hierarchical means. In other words, they maintain that capitalism is a system of large-scale coordination without hierarchy. These claims follow the argument of noted right-wing free market economist Milton Friedman, who contrasts, quote, central planning involving the use of coercion, the technique of the army or the modern totalitarian state with voluntary cooperation between individuals, the technique of the marketplace, as two distinct ways of coordinating the economic activity, economic activity of large groups, millions of people. See Capitalism and Freedom, page 13. However, this is just playing with words. As they themselves point out, the internal structure of a corporation or a capitalist economy is not market, i.e. non-hierarchical structure. It is a non-market or hierarchical structure of a market participant. See Chapter 2, Section 2. More on that. However, market participants are a part of the market. In other words, capitalism is not a system of coordination without hierarchy because it does, uh, because it does contain hierarchical organizations, which are an essential part of the system. Indeed, the capitalist company is a form of central planning and shares the same technique as the army. As the pro-capitalist writer Peter Drucker noted in his History of General Motors, quote, there is a remarkably close parallel between General Motors' scheme of organization and those of the two institutions most renowned for administrative efficiency, that of the Catholic Church and that of any, uh, that of the modern army, quoted by David Enger, Apostles of Greed, page 66. And so, Capitalism is marked by a series of totalitarian organizations, and since when was totalitarianism liberty enhancing? Indeed, many so-called anarcho-capitalists actually celebrate the command economy of the capitalist firm as being more efficient than self-managed firms, usually because democracy stop, uh, stops action with debate. The same argument is applied to the fascist to the political uh, applied by the fascist to the political sphere. It does not change much, nor does it become less f- uh, fascistic when applied to economic structures. To state the obvious, such glorification of workplace dictatorship seems somewhat at odds with an ideology calling itself libertarian or f- anarchist. Is dictatorship more liberty enhancing to those su- uh, subject to it than democracy? I mean, anarchists doubt this. In order to claim that capitalism coordinates individual activity without hierarchy, right libertarians have to abstract from uh, individuals and how they interact within companies and concentrate purely on relationships between companies. This is pure sophistry. Like markets, companies require at least two or more people to work. Both are forms of social cooperation. If coordination within companies is hierarchical, then the system they work within is based upon hierarchy. To claim that capitalism coordinates without hierarchy is simply false. It's based on hierarchy and authoritarianism. Capitalist companies are based upon denying workers self-government, i.e. freedom, during work hours. The boss tells workers what to do, when to do, and how to do, for how long. This denial of freedom is discussed greater in depth in various sections across this document. Because of the relations of power it creates, opposition to capitalist private property and so wage labor and the desire to see it ended is an essential aspect of anarchist theory. Due to its ideological blind spot with regards to apparently voluntary relations of domination and oppression created by the force of circumstances, see section two on this one, uh, so-called anarcho-capitalism considers wage labor as a form of freedom and ignores its fascistic aspects when not celebrating those aspects. Thus, so-called anarcho-capitalism is not anarchist. By concentrating on the moment, the contract is signed. They ignore that freedom is restricted during the contract itself. While denouncing, correctly, the totalitarianism of the army, they ignore it in the workplace. But factory fascism is just as freedom-destroying as the army or political fascism. Due to this basic lack of concern for freedom, so-called anarcho-capitalists cannot be considered as anarchists. Their total lack of concern about factory fascism, i.e. wage labor, i.e. slave labor, places them totally outside the anarchist tradition. Real anarchists have always been aware of that private property and wage labor restrict freedom and desired to create a society in which people would be able to avoid it. In other words, where all relations are non-hierarchical, heterarchical, and truly cooperative. To conclude this chapter... To claim that private property eliminates hierarchy is demonstrably false. 
nor does capitalism coordinate economic activities without hierarchical structures. For this reason, anarchists support cooperative forms of production rather than capitalist 